Two airplanes burning on the ground gave firefighters in Edgar County, Illinois, a late night. Now investigators must figure out who set the two fires they're calling suspicious. News 10's Brent Frazier is here with the latest from right outside Paris. Brent? Patrice, the people in and around Edgar County say this is airport politics, pure and simple. Two airplanes, already disabled from flying, a source says, now destroyed by fire, and no one believes it was accidental. It's very troubling, because we don't know for sure what's going on. We actually don't. Additionally chilling to those at the Edgar County Airport, are the cryptic messages spray painted on both planes' bodies. This is our airport, reads one. The other, blank Rob. Who's Rob? By all accounts, it's Robert Bogue, the father of late pilot Rusty Bogue. Um, why would he be a target? I, I'm not sure. That's, that's what's frustrating. We just don't know. Robert Bogue might know. He tells News 10 via phone that his son, who died in a late August plane crash, was a target of airport politics the last five years. Bogue speculates a motive for Monday night's fires might be someone's recent revelation that the airport board legally cannot and must not exist. We're extremely lucky because the fire was contained to those two airplanes and didn't go any further than in the uh, in that area, didn't get into the hangars. An interesting link that could end up meaning nothing is that all three planes, the two that are burned and the one Rusty Bogue died in, were registered to Brian Phillips of Terre Haute. Phillips lists two businesses, Venetia Marine Inc. and Invictus Investments LLC, with this West Honey Creek Drive address, a building News 10 found to be vacant. Robert Bogue tells me he believes Brian Phillips actually has nothing to do with this. In fact, Bogue says Phillips' planes were repoed by the bank. We were unable to get comment from Phillips himself. Mike, Patrice. All right, thank you very much, Brent.